going to subtract polynomials. And we're going to do the same thing we did when we added polynomials. We're going to subtract them using a horizontal method of subtraction and also a, 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 a vertical uh, method of subtraction. So let's get a couple polynomials here. Uh, we'll use 2x squared plus 3 minus, whoops, let's get on the camera here, minus 3x squared minus 4. So we have two polynomials. These are called binomials because there's two terms in each of the brackets or parentheses. And each polynomial has two terms. This is one polynomial. This is another polynomial. They have two terms, so these are called binomials. So we're going to subtract these. Well, let's subtract them horizontally first. We're subtracting this one from this one. So we'll put this one on the top, 2x squared plus 0x, there's no x term there, plus 3. And once you do this a, a while, you won't put the 0x term. You'll, you'll be, in fact, you'll do most of this in your head. But for now, let's, let's put all of our terms in, in <coughs> seeing how we're just learning how to do this. And then we're going to subtract what's on the bottom. I'm going to put a parenthesis around here. 3x squared plus 0x minus 4. All right? I put the parentheses out here, or the negative out here, because I want to show that we're, we're subtracting each of these. One way, uh, the, probably the best way to think of this is to think that there's a negative 1 out here, and we want to, <coughs> we want to, remove the parentheses. To move, remove the parentheses, we want to multiply each of these terms by this negative one. Once we do that, we can take away the parentheses. So I'm going to write the top again. And now I'm going to go through and multiply by this negative one and remove the parentheses so I can subtract. As long as those parentheses are there, I can't subtract. So a negative one times, and, and by multiplying here, I'm going to multiply each term here by this negative 1. So a negative 1 times a 3x is a minus 3x squared. A minus 1 times 0x is still 0x. And a minus 1 times a minus 4 is a plus 4. Okay? Now, I've removed the minus sign. I can combine these like terms. 3 and 4 is 7. This is 0x. And 2x squared minus 3x squared is a minus x squared. So I would rewrite this as minus x squared plus 7. That is my answer when I subtract these two polynomials. Let's do this same problem horizontal, or uh, yeah, horizontally. When we do it horizontally, I'll rewrite it here, a new piece of paper. We're going to do 2x squared plus 3 minus 3x squared minus 4. So we'll we have a plus here. So we can just remove these parentheses. This minus means we're multiplying everything here by a minus 1. All that does is changes the sign. So once you get the hang of this, you won't do even think of multiplying. You'll see I've got a minus up here. I can remove the parentheses and just change the sign of every term in the parentheses. If you multiply a minus 1 times a positive 3, you get a minus 3x squared. If you multiply a minus 1 times a minus 4, you get a positive 4. Notice what's happened. I've removed the parentheses. 
and I've just changed the sign of every term in here. This was a plus 3x, now it's a minus 3x squared. This was a minus 4, it's now a plus 4. <coughs> now I can combine like terms. I like to teach you to group these. Once you get going on this and uh, you're doing this for a while, you can do, you don't have to go through this step. But when you're just learning how to do this, I think it's helpful to group the like terms. Like terms are terms with the same variable raised to the same power. So we have 2x squared minus 3x squared. That's minus x squared. And we have 3 plus 4 is plus 7. And that was our answer. It's the same answer that we got when we uh, subtracted these um, vertically. Let's do one more here real quickly. Let's do 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3 minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 4. We'll add the, we'll subtract these horizontally first. So we'll have a 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 0x, there was no x term, plus 3 minus the parentheses x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 4. <clears throat> to remove those parentheses, I multiply by a negative 1 each of these terms, and all that does is change their sign. So what I'm going to end up with, I'll write the top polynomial again quickly. And now to remove these, I just change, multiply by a negative 1, which changes each of these signs. So instead of having a positive x cubed, I have a minus x cubed. Instead of having a positive 3x squared, I have a minus 3x squared. Instead of having a minus x, I'll have a positive x. A minus 4, I'll have a positive 4. Now I can add these together. Just add the columns. 3 and 4 is 7. x and 0x is x. Minus 4x squared minus 3x squared is minus 7x squared and 3x cubed minus x cubed is 2x cubed. That was <coughs> horizontal subtraction. Now we'll do the same problem, only we'll subtract it, or that was vertical subtraction. Now we'll do the same problem and, and subtract it horizontally. Horizontally, we keep everything in a row. There's had a plus on it, so we can just remove the parentheses. But this has a negative in front of it. So we got to multiply through by a negative 1, which just changes all of these signs. So this is going to become a negative x cubed. It changes all the signs, not just the first one. So you have to change this to a negative 3x squared. You have to change this negative to a positive. It changes negatives to positives and positives to negatives when you have a negative out in front. And this becomes a positive. Now we'll go through and group these. We'll have a 3x cubed minus x cubed. We'll have a minus 4x squared minus 3x squared. <coughs> we'll have there's no x term here, so we just have a 1 positive x. And now we have a positive 3 <coughs> and a positive 4. And oftentimes, I'll just cross these out as I write them down so to make sure that I've got them all. OK? Whoops, I shouldn't have crossed that out. Now we're going to combine like terms. 3x cubed minus x cubed is 2x cubed. Minus 4x squared minus 3x squared is a minus 7x 
squared. There's just a one x term, so we have a plus x, and 3 plus 4 is 7. This is the same answer that we got when we subtracted them uh, or, uh, vertically. This way we did it horizontally. All right, and that's the end of the second um, lesson or second problem.